And now, the CFISD retirees from the 1970s. Claudia Adams Drayton. My son getting the principalship at Cook Middle School. It was a little sad because I had to leave my Cook family after five years there. Edna Edgley. It has been a privilege to see many of my students graduate and watch them walk and or be wheeled across the stage at the Berry Center. Even wearing masks, the kids called my name and waved to me to show how excited they were to finally be at graduation. Working with so many supportive personnel to help kids improve their communication skills, sitting on the floor with three and four-year-olds to help them interact during instruction was just as important as helping a student with autism figure out what to do for a class assignment in video tech. Working in CFISD as a speech-language pathologist has helped me have a life well-lived. Mark Fisher, living and working amongst the wonderful CFISD community of families, students, and colleagues. I am privileged to have memories of former students revisit with me to share their professional and personal successes as adults. Some of my former students have returned to the district to serve CFISD in the past or currently as educators or administrators. Trix Hensley. I honestly think the day-to-day -day routine of working with children is the most precious of memories. Acknowledging their accomplishments and being present to support them through heartaches. Being able to witness their resilience, endurance, and their determination were treasures. In addition, developing lifelong friendships in the workplace. Meeting the man who was to become my husband when he was working as a photographer and taking school pictures on my campus is the most precious and lasting memory of all. Arturo Martinez. All the strong professional relationships I was able to make during my time with Cypress Fairbanks ISD. Gail Parker. Being named Principal of Lampkin and spending my entire CFISD career in this community and building. And now, the CFISD retirees from the 1980s. Cynthia Anderson. Creating hair bows with the kids in Genius Hour. Maureen Ayers. So many, but being part of the team that created the new arrival centers is one of the best. Lori Baker. Genuinely hearing back from so many students once they have moved on to higher level education, careers, and starting families of their own. They always start with the largest smile and a big bear hug even shed happy tears as we share stories of their journey, heartaches, and triumph come full circle. Karen Bard. I remember having taught for seven years at Millsap, and they were opening Hamilton Elementary the following year. Jane Little, who was our principal at Millsap, was opening the new school. I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to be able to open a new school and follow the best principal at that time. It was so much fun helping her pick out the colors for the cabinets, carpet, and other various things. We were all so excited to have that new Southwest color theme. I have since then seen the colors change and remodeling done several times throughout the years. Cynthia Bennett. Listening to the message of Walter Case, a Holocaust survivor, and trying to practice this message at our school and through my life. His message was one of hope, dreams, love, and acceptance. He influenced many students, teachers, and parents. It was truly awe-inspiring, heart-wrenching, and heartwarming. Loretta Bourne. It was a joy for me to sing at many district events, including convocations, new staff events, and retirement banquets. But some of my best memories include getting to hear children sing and perform at schools throughout the district. Dr. Carla Brosnahan. Serving as a principal for 21 years at Sheridan and Burks was the most memorable portion of my 39 years. Growing leaders has been my passion. I continue to be blessed by the relationships made from working with amazing staff, families, students, principal colleagues, and district leaders. Larry Brown. Every time I stepped on a stage with my Cy Springs kids to perform. Rosa Lee Bertle. Love Dance Across Texas Day. Martha Burnett, being a part of opening two new elementary schools, Hairgrove and Danish. Sharla J. Carey, there have been many, but my most favorite was when my father of 88 years and my stepmother, also 88, 
attended our Veterans Day program in 2015. I directed the Farney Choir. One of the pieces included the Armed Services fight songs. My Navy veteran father stood with the others and he was recorded singing his song, adding motions to the lyrics. It is a precious memory as he passed away the following year. Linda Chacon, always serving my community, supporting all children, parents, teachers, and colleagues, being extremely active and supportive in the success of our children, always planning and perfecting success. Ana Maria Cisneros, working as a teacher's assistant at Bilingual Pre-K. Deidre Hunter Cole, in 2005, winning Kayla Middle School's first Spotlight Teacher. The banquet was phenomenal and elegant. It felt like a celebrity walking into the Berry Center on the red carpet with the cheerleaders and drill team members from every high school cheering for you. It is a memory I will always cherish. Becky Cook. Dedicating and participating in the opening of Harold Rowe Middle School was a bucket list item for me. I was able to work on the design and opening of Rowe Middle School with the latest instructional technology available at the time. To be a part of the entire process was truly amazing, and I will never forget it. To work with facilities and planning, technology services, and the wonderful administrative team at Rowe Middle School was a highlight in my career. Cheryl Sumner Cook Serving as a ropes facilitator for 27 years in CFISD was extremely rewarding. It afforded me the opportunity to work with students at every level along with staff and administrators. The results of a day on the course, summer or winter camp, or during professional development was a gift of team building, communication, self-awareness, and fun. Colleen B. Covey Attending space camp with Emmett Elementary 5th graders, my team, and admin. Penny Crossan. My most significant memory is when Carla Brosnahan offered me a second grade position at Berks Elementary when it opened. I loved it so much that I spent the last half of my career there. Jeannie Davis. Working with amazing colleagues and awesome students. Carrie Dixon. In August of 2005, I had the privilege and honor to open Kayla Middle School under the excellent leadership of Marvin Webster. Marvin, in his wisdom, put together the most amazing faculty and staff I have ever had the pleasure of working with in my entire teaching career. We were a family and everyone gave 100% effort to build relationships with all of our students and staff. I will always feel blessed to have been a part of such a wonderful experience. Cindy Dunham. There are so many, but my recruitment in CFISD was the most memorable. I was newly arrived from England, and SciFair was in need of certified ESL bilingual teachers. Isaiah Spikes was my recruiter, and he was so welcoming, reassuring, helpful, and compassionate. It felt like home from the beginning. That was 1992, and I made the next 29 years of memories in SciFair. Claudia Fenske. Delivering books on hold to students in their classrooms at the end of the day. The books were usually the most popular in my library. Wimpy Kid series, amulet graphic novels, dork diaries, etc. So there were often long lines for them. The students were frequently those who were struggling with learning to read, and their faces just glowed when I would call their name to come up and get their book. I think they felt like reading celebrities. Merthala Fisher to have served professionally amongst the district's greatest mentors, encouragers, and colleagues who instilled in me the belief that learning is truly a lifelong rewarding adventure. I had the privilege and honor of being named Spotlight Teacher in 2000. My humorous memory of CFISD is when I ordered a rabbit from the SRC to go with the storybook, The Velveteen Rabbit. The SRC reviewed the order and apologized that no rabbits were available, so they sent me a hedgehog instead. Diane Garland, opening Thornton Middle School with Jim Wells and Connie Kunkel in 1993. I had known Donald Thornton since the middle 1960s, and to open a school in his honor with the innovation and teamwork instilled in the staff was a true blessing and educational experience. The staff and students worked hard to make Thornton a successful learning environment, and to be able to experience that as a teacher and as an administrator helped me continue to grow as an educator. Rhonda Goldman, 
I have so many wonderful memories as a teacher and science coach. I loved building eco columns with second graders. It brought me such joy to see how these young scientists explored and asked questions about the world around them. Dalia Gonzalez, my journey as a high school counselor has been extremely memorable, full of good times, laughs, and hard work. Being a counselor is like being a mom in a way. My students' victories are my victories to enjoy too. So I would have to say that graduations were my fondest memories each and every year because it was time for looking forward, but also a time for looking back and reminiscing. All my accomplishments and recognitions as a school counselor do not compare to the days and nights that I have spent at each graduation. Ozzie Green When I transitioned from orchestra director to assistant principal, my students paid tribute to me during my final concert, expressing my impact on their lives in and outside of the classroom. Beth Haynes Planning units of study that integrated all subject areas with my teammates. Carrie Hendricks, the times when my teaching and my students' learning involved laughter. Having them participate in a reader's theater, puppet show, play, poem, art project, song, or chant was always a delight and hopefully an event that they will always remember. Carrie Huff, my favorite memories always were centered around gatherings across the district. Over the years, you make strong relationships with many different people. I worked on seven different elementary campuses during my time in CFISD. When we would gather for professional development days, conferences, and convocations, it was like having a family reunion. You could hear lots of laughter, see many sharing hugs with those you have not seen in a long time, and a lot of reminiscing. Annette Hubble I have been at Bang Elementary my entire time in SciFair. I remember so clearly returning to teaching after staying home with my three young children. When I started at Bang, my oldest daughter was in fifth, my son was in second, my youngest daughter was in kinder, and I taught first. It was an unforgettable time with all of us there. We made so many great memories. I'll always treasure my time at Bang. Once a Bang Bear, always a Bang Bear. David R. Hughes my favorite memory is that everywhere I worked in CFISD, the staff was comprised of incredible people who were fully committed to student success. The staff worked hard to make the school the best it could be for all students, sometimes in challenging circumstances. Over the years, there were also many incredible students who went on to be very successful. Brenda Jackson, sharing my love of history on a daily basis and then having the opportunity to take a group of students to the East Coast to experience our country's history firsthand and see their excitement. Pat Johnson, the award dinner for Spotlight Teacher 2004. I was honored to be selected by my peers and my principal, Gail Parker at Lampkin Elementary. The evening was filled with fun, food and entertainment, as well as shared with friends and family members. Jana E. Johnston, having taught with three of the most amazing co-teachers in the world. Ginny Charnas Knight, I cherished the strong feeling of family over the years, particularly when working with Arlene Robison and Bubba Wilburn, both friends, mentors, and parent figures to me. Over 39 years, that sense of family has extended to many personal connections with staff members, students, and their families. In CFISD, I felt valued. Barbara Kuntz, graduating from and starting my teaching career from Cypher High School when we were the one and only high school in the district. Then came remote learning. Edna Lada, the warm memories I recall and loved during my tenure with the finest administration and staff of Cypher ISD was their willingness to provide guidance and assistance to one another in the time of need. I always looked forward to getting to work because I knew the time there was going to be rewarding, enjoyable, and full of laughter. I can honestly say that at times I do miss the camaraderie of my fellow co-workers and will always cherish all the wonderful times together. Blessings to all and always strive for the best of our students. Virgil A. Maddox Sr. One of the greatest memories was witnessing my life skills vital 18-plus students enjoy themselves at their prom 
as well as graduate. I was also blessed to have coached two district champions in girls basketball. I have met some great people in CFISD, which I will treasure the experience for the rest of my life. Cheryl Malone. You always dream of having a perfect class, a class that has children that are so engrossed in learning new things and having their parents involved. My favorite memory was transforming my classroom overnight into the rainforest. When the children arrived, they were beyond excited. Oohs and ahs could be heard throughout first grade. The learning began. Wonderful read-alouds, nonfiction books in book bags, research on computers, and the list continues. The excitement for learning was far beyond my wildest dreams. Carrie Odin Mars I think I enjoyed my years with Mr. Wilburn the most during all of my years in CFISD. I had no idea when I became the principal of Wilburn Elementary that that would include developing a relationship with Bubba Wilburn and his wife Pat. I also didn't know that would include keeping Mr. Wilburn in check with some of his wild stories and crazy jokes. For instance, one day when they were due at the school for an event, Pat's hairdryer broke. Bubba promptly took her out to the garage and turned the leaf blower on her. Nothing would make those two late for an event at the school. Julie Marsak Along with the blessing of being able to teach my own three children music at Emmett, it was seeing the joy of success on my students' faces after completing a performance, getting a part right on an instrument, or playing a singing game in class. Giving all children the ability to succeed in music was the best memory, and knowing some have gone on to make it in their career makes me proud. Wendy McAdoo, thinking of all the teamwork that went into every endeavor, I've worked with so many mentors and colleagues across the district over the years whom I would like to thank for contributing so much to my success and the success of the students in CFISD. Cheryl McLaughlin, I have many great memories of my years in education. As a middle school coach, I've had many memorable moments, victory-wise, but the personal victories and aha moments of the students in my classes and the athletes on my teams meant the most. Tara Moore. My three boys attended Bang while I was teaching there. Oh, what a joy it was to see them growing and learning during their elementary school years. Mark T. Moynihan. Opening up Cypress Springs High School. Alan Meek and Sarah Hardy put together an incredible group of teachers. Watching the geese fly in over our training areas and listening for hunters as we ran around out there. From owls setting off the fire alarms chasing mice up the ceilings, to the roof nearly being blown off the top by heavy storms, we were always ready for anything to happen. The students were wonderful to work with throughout the year and developed the traditions that are continuing today. It was one of my most favorite years in the district. Suzanne Mummy, the people who had faith in me. I've had principals and leaders give me opportunities that I didn't even know were available to me, or I didn't think I was even capable of accessing. And each time I flourished beyond my expectations. I had experiences with students, families, and staff that sparked more creativity and passion. Being able to carry this forward while leading others has made millions of memories. Kimberly Nelson. I taught my entire career of 32 years at Millsap Elementary as a fourth grade teacher. During this time, I felt honored to have taught so many siblings from the same wonderful families and even parents of some of my students toward the end of my career. Some of my favorite memories, however, will always be the special days in PE such as field days, western day, and dance through the decades. I absolutely love dressing up, participating, and dancing along with my students. Paula Jane Osborne. I was at Langham Creek for 16 years, beginning the first year it opened. After those years, I moved across the country. I returned 15 years later and was thrilled to be hired back at Langham Creek. I felt like my life had come full circle and that I had come home. As they say here, once a lobo, always a lobo. Reese Palmer. Helping my students reach their AR goal. Also seeing my students and my excitement for Garden Day. Michelle Parrott. I don't have one favorite memory. Instead, my favorite moments have been the laughter I have shared with students and colleagues over the years. 
From silly giggles with students to full-on belly laughs with my teammates, my heart has always been full. Ultimately, I'm most proud of the lasting friendships I have made during my time in CFISD. Zulema Prastrana Camacho Every time students come back to see me after many years and share all good things they remember when they were with me, I feel so happy to see the good men and women they have become. Sharon F. Paul The yearly opportunity to create musical moments and memories with the choir students at Cypress Creek High School. It is thrilling to see the joy it brings to their hearts as we perform with our choir family throughout the year. That's the most important thing. We are choir family, now and always. Mary Pegg. Seeing the creative minds of the young children produce original works of art. Lynn Perkins. My 33 years in CFISD have been the best. One of my favorite memories of teaching was having my third grade students write a letter to their future selves, and then my teaching partner and I mailed it to them when they graduated from high school. We were able to plan a reunion with many of our students, and when we gathered, we reminisced and had many laughs together as they read the letters they wrote to themselves. The connection we made with those students have lasted for all of these years. Laura Perry while I loved each position and campus I worked over my 36 years in public education, my favorite memories are from opening Truett Middle School in 1990. The staff was tightly bonded from the very beginning as we worked together to build the culture and climate of this new campus. I have numerous lifelong friends who started as my Truett family and who I now consider part of my personal family. I cherish the memories from opening Truett, and I will always hold my Truett family and friends close to my heart. Don Paterik, Driving the Pre-K Students Donna Peterson, My first 10 years in sci -Fair were at Emmett Elementary. I have fond memories of my classes and always loved the field days. I will never forget Principal Mary Ann Smith's start to every day. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. I still live by that saying. Becky Pope Helping parents understand why their child struggles in school and offering a plan to help them be more successful. Bill Powell I do not know about a favorite memory, but my fondest and most profound memory of my career was being asked by the family of Carolyn Reynolds, one of our school bus drivers of over 40 years, to be a pallbearer at her funeral when she passed away. Pam Puckett When George Hopper hired me in 1994, he asked me what my favorite subject to teach was. I said, Algebra 2. He said, If you come to Sci Falls to teach, I will let you teach Algebra 2 all day. My actual assignment was Technical Algebra 2B. Technical Algebra was Algebra 1 taken over two years. The B in Technical Algebra 2B stood for Below and Behind. I like to believe George was not familiar with math curriculum, but nonetheless, I enjoyed all of my 13 years at Sci Falls High School. Kim Sempe. Memories from over the years that make me smile always involve growing lifelong friendships with my CFISD family. I was so blessed to experience so many important milestones, such as opening Sci Falls and Sci Woods, being selected as a spotlight teacher, serving as Hamilton's principal, and working with so many awesome educators across the district and ISC. James E. Stewart, Jr. My favorite CFISD memories are when I had the opportunity to become lead at FPC and meeting my wife of 19 years there. Bassett Strother. The chili cook-off wins at Goodson Middle School and receiving that call congratulating me for the completion of another year of service. Diana Tarkington. I enjoyed working with the staff at my home schools as well as the FCS teachers in the district. I always liked seeing the students enjoying the projects they made in class and hearing their successes when they shared their newly acquired skills with their families at home. Terry Tidmore I am thankful that my first principal was Jan Aragon. I love that I was a part of the staff that helped open Labai in Aragon. I love getting to be a part of the Labai team who went to Washington, D.C. to receive the National Exemplary School Award, which Labai won three times while Bob Warner was principal. 
I loved teaching Horizons for 20 years, which included taking many teams to Austin for future problem solving. And I loved coaching C-team basketball for seven years at Aragon. I treasure the many meaningful relationships I have made. Sci-Fair means family to me. Rhonda Reed Turns For over 15 years, Carleton Center sponsored a prom each year for students participating in life skills programming from high schools throughout the district. All of the pomp and circumstance of any high school prom was provided with special theme decorations, prom pictures, refreshments, dancing under the lights with music by a DJ, swag bags, and more. Student volunteers from Cy Woods and other high schools partnered with us yearly to dance with the students. Those were truly nights to remember. One favorite memory was a father dancing the last dance of the evening with his daughter propped up on his feet to enable her to dance with him. Students arrived in limousines and even one young lady and her date arrived in a horse-drawn Cinderella carriage. Seeing our students with disabilities experience the joys of life are my favorite memories of my work at Carleton Center. Pandora Alexander Walker, Algebra One teachers 2014 through 2015 being recognized for star scores from Cypress Springs High School. Annette Davenport Walton, the day my principal announced that I was ESL Teacher of the Year for my campus. Bonnie Wass Jones, going to watch the girls' basketball team win two state championships, as well as riding on a bus to Dallas to watch the football team win a state championship. I also loved working with so many wonderful women coaches who are also my closest friends. BFND. Charlotte Widmer. One of my favorite CFISD memories is Da Vinci Day. I loved seeing the kids participating in all the different activities and having such a good time. Erwan Davis Wilson. Celebrating Bang's 30th anniversary. Our community support was awesome. Hundreds of people were in attendance. Michael R. Wilson. Doing American Studies at Cy Woods was the most challenging and exciting program I was associated with. Working with Carla Fleming Jones to combine A Push, dual credit history with AP English and dual credit English was so rewarding. These students still communicate their joy from participating in these classes. Francis Yaney. I have so many wonderful memories teaching in CFISD and watching my boys as they grew up attending CFISD schools. I would have to say that my fondest memory is being awarded the spotlight teacher when I taught at Sheridan Elementary. I was so surprised and humbled to be recognized by my peers. And now, the CFISD retirees from the 1990s. Sherry A. Adair. My most cherished memories always revolved around the field trips, the many smiles of joy on the faces of kindergartners who may have never experienced the rodeo or zoo was priceless. Stacy L. Oderant. Most of my favorite memories are of spending time with my students when they were just simply being kids. I loved seeing their smiles and all of the different personalities and quirks that each student brought to the classroom. I'll always cherish the connections that were made during my years of teaching. Dora Alanis, all of the great people I worked with in nutrition services. Mark Baker, it was a pleasure to be a part of the best school district in the state of Texas for 25 years. I will always treasure my time in CFISD. Andrea E. Barnes, hosting the Read 180 Open House at Aragon Middle School and Cy Creek High School. Members of the community, the school board, the superintendent, school administrators, and parents were all invited to see what happens in a Read 180 classroom. My students were thrilled to be the docents to these cherished guests. Seeing my students' joy and confidence was priceless and motivated all of us to keep striving forward every day. Sharon Bassey. I will never forget the joy on children's faces as they sing on the stage. They have worked hours on learning the music, and the feeling they get lasts for years. I love it when they come back to visit me after leaving Hairgrove. Diane Bownight, Teaching at Adam Elementary in the 1980s and gathering in the library to sing Christmas carols the last three days before Christmas break. We would use an overhead projector with transparencies, remember those? To project the words of the songs onto the screens. 
Kindergarten and first grade would choose their favorite songs and lead the first day, second and third the second day, and fourth and fifth the third day. I was the fourth and fifth music teacher, so on our day, we would roll the piano from the music room, and I'd stand at it and play as the whole school sang along. Karen Borrego, working with the life skill students and watching them succeed and grow. Debbie Brandon, meeting new friends and working with children. Marcy Bratton, working with the special needs population and getting to know their families over the years through coaching Special Olympic track, swimming, bowling, and basketball. Colleen Buckley. I taught at Millsap Elementary for 21 years of my teaching career and built long-lasting relationships with my colleagues. We were a fun-loving family that supported each other in good times and in bad times. One of my favorite memories was going to space camp in Huntsville, Alabama with my fifth graders. What an incredible experience! It was special not only because of space camp, but also the group of students who were able to go. I taught this particular group of children in first grade, second grade, and then again in fifth grade. Millsap will always hold a special place in my heart. Terry Butler Every time students say they are no good at math or reading at the start of the year, but then work hard all year and have a completely different mindset at the end of the year. Also, helping to coach our Andre Leopards, Durkers Champs teams. Jeanette Clifton. I had the pleasure of opening up three new schools in my teaching career. It was a blessing to have the opportunity to work with amazing people and make lifelong friends as well. Carla Conover. I remember being able to share school moments with my own children. I was so blessed to teach at Millsap when my son, Ross, and daughter, Anna, attended there. Field days, dancing with them on Western days and 50s days, and watching Anna win the Name That Book contest are just a few of the precious memories. Kathy Cotton Windham. In the late 1990s, when my 8th grade resource language students enjoyed the opportunity to participate in PhotoFest Literacy Through Photography Project, supported from monies acquired from an educational excellence grant I procured. Student writings coupled with their photography were displayed throughout downtown Houston in various venues, including Minute Maid Park, PhotoFest, and Macy's. For many of my students, this was the first time they'd been out of Northwest Houston to the downtown area, and with the support of our Blyle administration and parent chaperones, it was always a success. Lindsay Craig Coordinating the field days at Gleason and watching the students and teachers have so much fun participating in the games, stations, and relay races. Another favorite memory is coaching girls soccer at Cy Springs High School when our team advanced to the regional round of playoffs. Peggy K. Crawford Stelly. During the 28 years of working for Cypress Fairbanks ISD, many outstanding memories flood my mind. One joyous occasion was in December 2012 when Burke's fifth grade choir, 107 strong, delivered their holiday performance at the Berry Center. SciFair administrative staff, board members, and district principals laughed and sang with the choir as they celebrated the holiday season. It was a blessed day, truly felt by all. Linda Crocker. First one that comes to mind, when a former student, Chucky e. Keaton, pulled me into the gym floor at a pep rally to play tug of war. John Crumley. Having the honor of serving with a great group of dedicated individuals. I have made lifelong friends and memories I will cherish forever. Cindy Culp. I have so many fond memories from being a first-year teacher and opening a brand new school to being cheered on by my students to riding in a hot air balloon knowing you're afraid of heights. I did it, though. Teresa B. Duffus. I enjoyed preparing and administering the AP Spanish exam at the middle school level. I love checking my email the first week of June to view the passing scores. Dr. Lee Elizondo, helping a parent who had a concern about his student who had significant reading disabilities. George did learn to read and many years have passed since he was in our district. Recently, his father came up to me at a community event and shared how George is a successful adult with his own business. He remembered me after almost 15 years. I am so happy for George. Cindy Elmore. Sci Fair High School Caravan. As a team member, then as a lead. We had an awesome group and lots of fun together. 
Cheryl Enoch. Spending 21 years in CFISD, 18 of them in Aragon, it's hard to pinpoint just one memory that is my favorite. Most that come to mind involve my coworkers who quickly became like family to me, especially the years I spent in the adaptive behavior classroom with my paraprofessional, Brian. If those walls could talk, we laughed, sweated, and sometimes teared up a bit. We even spent some time sprinting down the street. I'm forever grateful for the family I had there and the support they offered me over the years professionally and personally. John Enoch Dressing up in costume, shaving my hair off, and dancing during all three lunches for the students. This happened because my grade won the Penny War by collecting the most money for charity. Chris Freeman I began my career working for Norma Alt when she opened Bang Elementary. When she retired, many of the staff went to Las Vegas together to celebrate this wonderful lady. The family atmosphere of our staff was one of the things that made working there in the early years so magical. Christopher P. Garside Having so much fun giving professional development to science teachers each August at Cywoods High School. Tamara Gavito the times when I'm in the planetarium with my students, as we see the stars and I tell the stories about the constellations, I hear the wow and awe sounds from my students. I also love my science experiments. I can see the wheels turning in their brains. That thinking time is precious. It gives me great joy to hear and see my students get that aha moment. I will always cherish the relationships that I've made, including staff, students, and their families. Deborah Guest. When former students stopped by to say hello, called, sent letters, emailed, or texted, I'm grateful to have helped many students over the years. Hearing about their accomplishments in life gave me confidence in what I was doing as a teacher. When asked what I did for a living, I can honestly say I made a difference. Charlotte Godsey. Watching students walk across the stage the end of their senior year. Alice Graves. Being asked to help open a new campus. Lisa Gregory. Last spring, some high school students came to walk with our fifth graders through graduation. I remember thinking that some of these might have been my students. Afterward, a group yelled my name from across the cafeteria. Then they walked over to visit me. They were all so beautiful and grown-up looking. One of them even had brought his old elementary photo for me to see. He said, I was one of the bad kids, but I fixed all of that. We all got quite a smile out of that. It touched me that they were all so excited to see me and thank me for teaching them elementary art. Penny Grimmer. There were a lot of hugs. I reveled in the looks in the children's eager faces as they experienced new wonders, book character dress-up parades, Easter egg hunts, and the camaraderie with fellow teachers and my wonderful pre-K family. Jacqueline Hamilton. The Cypher High School 75th celebration, which I organized, brought together students, staff, and community for a wonderfully exciting event to honor Cypher High School's legacy and tradition. Nelda Hanzi, my son's graduation from Cy Creek in 2018. Carol Hardin, building relationships with each and every student that came in the office to visit, as well as meeting and talking with their parents. Margaret Harris. My favorite memories when Travis Fanning and Scott Shepard called me on a speakerphone to offer me the job as their secretary in school leadership. Renee Hebert. The year the Berry Center opened, 2006, the district sent out an email in need of people to help with the opening of the building. I volunteered my entire family. My husband and four daughters came to the Berry Center on a Saturday morning for the big flush. Yes, we were there to help with making sure that the toilets all worked. Andrea Hornbeek, Camp Summit, August PD, New Teacher Academy, TVL, New Math Teaks, New Language Art Teaks, Traveling and learning and on and on, we have worked, laughed, cried, and learned together, and I wouldn't have wanted to make these memories with anyone else. What a great team. They will make my memories always sweet. Maria A. Hottenson. I was so blessed to work with many amazing and caring people for 23 years at Sheridan. 
One of the best times was having my two children there. Jeff Jackson, taking our students to the ropes course and on all the various field trips. Virginia Jones, the support I received from my Millsap family when my son Stephen passed away. All of their love and care helped me through a very difficult time. I can never say thank you enough for all they did for me and my family. Christina Kaplan, having both my children at the same school with me for two years. Lee Kaplan, working with the special education team at Aragon. John Kaufman, having former students come back and tell me how much I helped them on their path to becoming successful individuals. Lindsay Laird, at the beginning of each of my 21 CFISD school years, I have had my students write a letter to themselves to be returned at the end of May. I wanted them to see their growth throughout the year and note the importance of writing about a moment in time to keep. In order to model, I wrote one of my own each year to read with them in May. Last year, I opened my worn manila envelope full of letters to myself, spread all 20 notes out onto my desk, and read my chronicled first days of school for two decades. I reminisced, I laughed, I cried. The most poignant line I read from 2019 I had written. Today, Liam, my own child, now my student, called me over to tell me that this was the best assignment he'd ever done in English. Diane Liricos Having students tell me they used their Spanish to help a lost child and a student telling me he was able to answer an English vocabulary question because of the vocabulary he learned in Spanish. And wonderful friendships developed among my colleagues. Also, sponsoring the Recycling Club. Dana Leggett Hera. Life skills proms and teaching the life skills students to learn basic skills in order to be successful after graduation. I especially enjoyed helping the students in learning the process of preparing a shopping list, grocery shopping, and cooking in the life skills kitchen. Watching them eat their prepared food was priceless. Donna Lester, serving as a member of the inaugural lead teams at both Cypress Woods High School and Cypress Park High School, is at the top of my list of favorite CFISD memories. Kathy Marinko, dressing up as Thing 2 for Bob Covey when he was in his Cat in the Hat outfit to read to the students. Mr. Covey was so surprised when he saw me. Alta Manning Mayo, at one of the first nighttime activities that Feast had for our students and their families, we prepared spaghetti and served it. It was quite the experience and such a bonding time for our staff. Feast was an amazing place that God chose for me at that time in my life. I made many lifelong friends. Ruby McClellan. Lambkin Elementary celebrated many wonderful traditions, but my favorite was the annual Christmas breakfast. It was a time for us to stop and remember that we were more than just co-workers. We were family. We ate, we laughed, we sang, we listened, and we hugged. Together, we had experienced and survived the first semester, and we would be there for each other when we returned in January. I will always treasure my precious Lampkin family. Margaret M. McNeil Seeing the enthusiasm in my students as we explored the world's regions focusing on culture, history, economy, government, and geography. My hope is that this curiosity will instill a passion for travel and provide a better understanding of other cultures and people and an appreciation of our own, bringing our world closer together. Anne Melanson, I have been blessed to serve alongside so many amazing people. I will always think of CFISD as my family. Melissa Mendieta, early in my career, I had the opportunity to work with a special education teacher in a co-teach classroom. This was a positive experience for me because my co-teacher and I worked so well together. We were so in sync, we were able to finish each other's sentences. Campus and district-level personnel were so impressed with our ability to co-teach together, they had people from other districts come observe us to see how the co-teach model should look. Terry Mitchell I have made so many great friends over the years and have been blessed to be able to work with children and their families every day. From greeting students at the beginning of the day to working with a child who struggles behaviorally, I can't choose one favorite memory. 
There has been lots of cheering others on and laughter shared along the way. Thank you, CFISD, for the privilege of working in two amazing schools. Doug Muckleroy. Homecoming with all the students involved, parade with all the former students showing up to watch, and the spirit days that went with the seasons. Clara Harleen Oshler. The great support from the staff in emergency situations. At Hopper Middle School, it truly is all about the team. Leah Poloni. Field trips are some of my favorite memories. Vicki Partridge. The smiles of my students when they felt the success in their learning. Terry Sue Netterville Pop. I was at my son's 8th grade formal as a chaperone when one of the young workers from the venue came up to me and said, You were my favorite teacher. Because of you and your love for science, I am majoring in biology. In 2016, I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom getting lunch when a cast member comes over and says, You were my second grade teacher. Boy, were you so much fun. He graduated college as a business major, worked many years, got married, and had kids. Vivian Powers I was teaching 6th grade science at Spillane Middle School and we were studying thermal energy transfer. Each student made a bracelet from beads that would change color when exposed to sunlight to demonstrate thermal energy transfer through radiation. The assignment was to investigate exposing the bead to various environments to figure out what caused the bead to change color. That day at dismissal, an unexpected snowfall began. As the students excitedly exited the building, their beads changed color. Suddenly, I had students saying, Mrs. Powers, I figured out what causes my bead to change color. It's snow. Needless to say, we had to investigate further the next day to reveal the true answer and replace the newly formed misconception. Joy Quinn. Hearing a nonverbal autistic student shout down the hall, Quinn, come! Teresa Rush. Returning to school in the fall of 2020, after COVID unexpectedly shut down schools in March, is my favorite memory of CFISD. Students and teachers were beaming behind masks as we high-fived and fist-bumped each other in the hallways for the first time since spring break. We shared a piece of history that will be talked about for years to come. Hilda Salinas. My favorite memory is the aha moments when a student finally gets it or masters an objective. Just to see that look in their faces was and still are the best memories for me. Debbie Santa Lucia. When I received the Teacher of the Year Award several years ago, we had a presentation in our school's library. In the presentation, they showed a video of one of my students, one of my extremely challenging students, who was asked to describe me as a teacher. He said, she's strict, nice, fun, and helps us learn. If my students can remember me that way, I feel blessed. Heidi Schulte. A kindergarten parent wrote a sweet note about me and sent it to Nancy Sampson, my principal at Hairgrove. Nancy sent the letter to the superintendent, who responded to me telling me how blessed they were to have me in the district. I found the note in my mom's nightstand when she passed away. It meant the world to me that she was proud and kept the letter for all those years. Jean Sharp. I had a student who had quite a reputation for bad behavior along with trust issues. To top it off, she refused to write. The first semester I worked on building a relationship with her and gaining her trust. She began writing and eventually enjoyed it. The administration team asked if I would like to move up and teach her again. It didn't take too long for me to make that decision. I didn't want her to regress as she'd come so far. In fact, my teaching partner and I both moved up and we were able to teach all of our students that we had the year before. It was amazing. Debbie Sheary, working with and getting to know senior student assistants. Darlene Shoup, I believe my favorite memory would be when one of my students came at the beginning of the school year in a wheelchair. Mom said that she was told she would not be able to walk. At the end of the year, that student walked out of the building. It was such a great feeling. Steve Silva. Winning the Spotlight Teacher Award in 2012 was my favorite memory. It made me feel appreciated for my hard work. 
Jill Smith, as a principal at both Aragon and Salyard Middle Schools, I loved the start of the school year. Every year, we would create a theme for the year and start the first day with a welcome breakfast. It was great seeing everyone back after summer break and working together to plan for the new year. Roseanne Reed Sontag The amazing staff members that I met and the wonderful friends that I made while working in our district. Jan Spears When I was teaching 5th grade math and science at Wilburn, my class was for bilingual ESL students that were not successful, Structured English Immersion, or SEI. The students knew they were special to me because we did many activities that my homeroom students didn't have the privilege of doing. When it came time for the star test and all of its stresses, one of the students earned the top ranking. We were all so excited and celebrating. When I shared with the boy his high score and told him he could do it in college, he said, Oh, miss, really? We were all proud. Teresa Stevenson, collaborating with teachers and my curriculum team on providing effective first instruction to meet the needs of all students. Laura Stewart, there are really too many to name just one. I was so blessed to work on a pre-K team for 16 years that felt like family. I loved coming to school every day and especially enjoyed reading and singing with the children. Each child's smile will be etched in my heart forever. Mary Stovall, a field trip to the oil ranch with my kindergarten class. The students had so much fun riding the train, feeding the animals, selecting their own pumpkins, and eating their lunch at picnic tables. Mary Sadursky, the best memories I take with me from my years at CFISD are all the wonderful people I worked alongside and the things I learned from them. Lots of laughter along with hard work and some tears along the way have been embedded in my heart and will remain as dear memories the rest of my days. The friendships created are lifelong and mean the world to me. Cynthia Tates, encouraging one student not to give up on himself. He then turned it around and became an honor roll student. He's now a dentist. Arthur Teed, I coached football over a time span covering three decades. My favorite time during my years in Sci-Fair were all the evenings gathered in the coach's office with my colleagues after getting the students on the 5 o'clock bus. Whether for 20 minutes, an hour, or longer, we talked about football, life, world events, family, or whatever was on our minds. I'm honored to have had the privilege to work and coach with such wonderful individuals. I will carry those relationships with me forever. Diane M. Thompson, The People and the Friendships that Were Made Trophia Depar Tillis Every memory is special to me, especially the graduation for our children at the Carleton Center. Just getting some of them from point A to point B. Julie Niederhaus Tripp Having the honor and privilege to meet, interview with, and being hired on the spot by Janet Hoover for a third grade teaching position at Gleason Elementary when it was opening brand new. Janet always made everyone she talked to feel as if they were the only person in the world that matters. One statement I remember hearing her say that I will never forget is that she'd never deny a child a hug. Working for Janet Hoover will always be the highlight of my CFISD career. Susan Ward Working and living in CFISD has allowed me to watch my students grow from the time they were in my class to graduating high school or college. When you see a former student and they tell you about their accomplishments and what they remember about you and being in your class, there is no greater compliment as a teacher. Teacher of the Year 2019, starting Fit Girls Running Club in our district and working with amazing staff members are also a few more treasured memories of my 31 years of teaching. Patricia Wheat. I looked forward to the beginning of each new school year, preparing packets for bus drivers and welcoming new drivers to SciFair Transportation. Lisa Wheeler. In 2007, we entered the Blyle Middle School choirs in the Splashtown Choral Festival. I told the girls that if they won the Best in Class award, I would throw them a major party. We had never won and were not expecting to this year either because larger programs in the area seemed to take turns winning each year. I was incredibly proud of them when they performed the best concert for some of the most prestigious panel of judges. They won a superior rating trophy, the best-in-class trophy, 
and the Best in Festival trophy. That's the event that made me a better teacher and my students stronger musicians. Of course, I kept my promise and those ladies enjoyed a wonderful party to celebrate that victory. Elizabeth A. White, CTVI, working with my 0-3 to year old visually impaired ECI babies in their homes to assist in getting their groundwork in the world of visual impairment started successfully, all while supporting their parents with ideas, activities, and resources in which to best support their infant child. Also, all the years of large group activities that supported our students with visual impairments by way of activities that helped them navigate the new and unknown in a safe space that was specifically designed for their unique needs. Carol A. Wilson, the administrators and co-workers that helped and encouraged me along the way. They assisted me in my journey from being a parent volunteer to working as a paraprofessional to completing my teaching degree and becoming a classroom teacher to being named Holmesley's Spotlight Teacher and helping to open Woodard Elementary. Victor Wofford, Staff Holiday Dinners. Julia Wolverton, Opening Walker and Andre Elementaries. Rick Yarto, Having a singing part in the 2010 Sci Falls Theater musical production of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee where I played the father of one of the lead actors. I was on stage for about four minutes and sang a duet with another teacher who played the mother of the character. It was part of a dream sequence our daughter has where we sing to her the I Love You song. Not only were the five performances a blast, but the preparation and working with the kids leading up to the two-week run was the best. In the history of our school's theater program, we were the only teachers to ever take part in a production. It was the only time I have ever been on stage as part of the musical and was a rare treat for me. Wendy Zabadal. When it was announced that I was recognized as the Gleason Elementary Spotlight Teacher for 2009, I was completely surprised and humbled that my colleagues and administration had seen that I was working really hard to provide my students many opportunities to grow and become successful. I love teaching first grade and I was not expecting this honor at all. During that very special year, I was teaching math and science, providing small group instruction with many hands-on activities to challenge my students to build their mathematical knowledge. I also have developed lifelong friendships with several of my teammates throughout my teaching that has brought me much joy. And now, the CFISD retirees from the 2000s. Karen Akins, All the Friendships I Have Made. Annette Anderson, working with the deaf and deaf-blind students and following their growth through the years from pre-K to high school. Being able to see their accomplishments all those years is a wonderful gift I will take with me. Valerie Baer, having the opportunity to make a difference in a child's life. Esther Abigail Rios de Verrios, Colleagues and students have been considerate to me. They express their appreciation for the work I have done. Colleagues are ready to help in any circumstance. Valerie Sappington Broyles, working with the New Arrival Center, sponsoring YLPA, YMPA, Young Ladies Men for Positive Action, the mentoring program, working on the first committee for No Place for Hate at Langham Creek High School, participating during graduation ceremony, volunteering during homecoming dance and senior prom. Roxanne T. Camel. When I rode my motorcycle to school, looking for a place to park, and was told later that the staff thought I was casing the school grounds, I was wearing my helmet, so they thought I was up to no good. Connie Chestnut. Working with such a great family of fellow teachers, paras, and administrators. Ellen P. Clark. Working daily with my special ed 18 and over students in the vital program and also in the additional vocational classes, commercial food services, and business media productions. They all brought me such joy and fulfillment. Though I was their teacher, I learned so much from them as well. We faced challenges together and I did my best to teach them the skills necessary for transitioning into the real world after graduation. Mary Coldwell being nominated for 2016 Salute to Nurses by the Houston Chronicle. We attended a fancy luncheon with other nurses in the Houston area. The other one that comes to mind was Veterans Day, 
As a U.S. Navy veteran, I love the Veterans Day programs where students would thank me for my service. Another one is handwritten notes from students during School Nurses Week in May of each year. I love the student drawings and notes of appreciation. They will always be cherished in my heart. I will miss my Pope family very much. Richard Cook, the first time I met with Rick Terrell and Glenn Wilson. Jan Curley. My 10 2019 graduating seniors in 7th period senior English class are a group I will never forget. We started the year as strangers and on the last day before finals, one student stood up with tears running down his face and thanked the class and me for being his family at Cy Creek. Moments like these are what keep teachers coming back year after year. Nadine Dechenka. When I think back of my years working for CFISD, I remember all the wonderful and caring people. I have made so many great friends, many of whom are like family. Julie Elder. I loved seeing the light bulb come on when my students understood a new concept or when students or their families told me that they were putting a healthy habit into practice. I also loved to see students work hard to accomplish a goal they had set for themselves. When they finally reached it, I enjoyed watching them celebrate their success. Bunny Genzer. When Susie Hunter told me that I was accepted for the position of data processing clerk. Terry Gladstone. I can remember I was teaching a science lesson about STEM and the kids were having a blast making geometric shapes with marshmallows and toothpicks. They were very excited to be able to work together and see who could make the best one. Kim Grain, working with the students and seeing how far they can advance in a year. Celinda Guerra, I was originally hired as a paraprofessional to work with PPCD students. One in particular was three years old and spoke only Spanish. I worked with him over the next two years helping him learn English. It wasn't easy, but we were both determined. The following year, he started kindergarten, and I started my new position as an administrative secretary. I would see him in the hallways, and he would always wave. He came to my office one day with his teacher. She said he had a surprise for me. He then started to read a book he had been working so hard to learn. After he finished, he gave me a great big hug. I was so proud of how far he had come. June Hightower. I enjoyed my time working at CFISD. I enjoyed supporting the staff at Liby and at Kayla. Cindy Kelly, caring for my awesome middle school students and staff in Tent City, i.e. a portable trailer building during Watkins Middle School renovations. We had to make many adjustments, including not having a bathroom in our clinic, but we all adapted, adjusted, and dealt with temperature changes, loud raindrops on the roof, and long walks to trailer classrooms then we were blessed by moving into our new clinic. Andrew S. Clarer, working with the communications staff to create the 2014 and 2019 bond videos that helped pass both bond elections. Michelle Kolb, when I began my career in CFISD, I was hired as the receptionist at Truett Middle School. The following year, I applied for the counselor's secretary position. During my interview, one of the counselors realized by my maiden name on my resume that I was one of her home ex students in Spring Branch. We had lots of laughs, I got the job, and I rekindled a great relationship with one of my former teachers. Olivia Ledesma, the Veterans Day celebrations at Jaeger Elementary. Robin Mauerman, I don't have one particular favorite memory but some of the best times have been making connections with my students. It's so rewarding when someone has that light bulb moment and just gets it. Eileen R. Nahili. Individual students sharing aha moments are coming to me in a subsequent year to let me know how I made a difference in their life beyond education. Cheryl Nesbitt. Working with an autistic student who considered me her school mom. I had her for four years, and there were many happy memories with her. Mark Newman. When J.J. Watt stepped into my office and asked if he could use the restroom. Cheryl Norton. 
my first day of work at Fraser Elementary. I was so excited to see my new students and admire how I decorated my classroom. Adriana Nuncio. I love receiving notes from my students. One note from a struggling reading student expressed his appreciation for my help and that I was the best reading teacher he has ever had. When I see my students in the hall and the hugs and smiling faces, some express they wish they could be with me again. Roseanne Panton, there are too many. Gay Pedoto, I started working when my oldest daughter was a senior in high school to help pay for her college. I stayed and put all three children through school. At Joel, it was like a big family. Justin Powers, opening Cypress Ranch High School. Vicki Reed, building those special relationships at Watkins Middle School. Luis F. Rivas, a third grade student of mine getting a perfect score on the reading tax test. I had met her in first grade. I was a long-term sub at the time. She had just come to the country from Nicaragua and had no previous education. Thomas Roseman, the teachers and students always made my day. I enjoyed working alongside my fellow colleagues. Raul Saldana, years ago when I was at Barker and the supervisor used to cook Thanksgiving dinner for all the drivers. Also, the AD, Mr. Hoffman, used to provide lunch for us every Friday. Liz Skinner, I have so many great memories. Working under the amazing leadership of Christina Cole and Susan Brenz, being chosen as the first spotlight teacher for Woodard Elementary, 10 years after receiving this award at Holmesley Elementary, and meeting so many wonderful students and parents along the way. Pangsri Smith, I enjoyed all my coworkers and I liked my job. Erlene Wilson Solomon, being on the committee to choose ancillary spotlight employee of the district, seeing how other employees were making a difference across the Cypher district. Cheryl Strobel. I had a special needs student born with cerebral palsy. She had such a positive attitude about her, even on the days when she wasn't feeling well. I loved her giggle and sweet smile. Marilyn Taylor. Building relationships with students and gaining lifelong friends among staff while working together in classrooms to grow our CFISD learners. Sheila Thomas, most memorable was to dance at the Gold Dusters annual performance. I remember being really nervous because I had not danced in a setting like that since high school. We were dressed in our poodle skirts and tennis shoes. We danced to one of the Beatles' greatest hits. Two Tran, teamwork during the time of COVID-19. Kathy G. Troquet. Being able to travel with the 2003 Cy Creek Boys Varsity Basketball Team to the state tournament. My son was a member of that team and has been back at Cy Creek as their head basketball coach. So my other favorite memory is that I was able to work at the same campus as my son, Dan Troquet, for my last years at Cy Creek. Terry Westbrook. Every day was a different memory, so it is hard to pick just one. Kathy Williamson. My first memory was when Principal Claudio Garcia took me on a tour throughout the entire Cypress Ridge High School to see each department and introduced me to the administrative staff. Afterwards, he said, do you like the school? And he also said, what do you think? And well, I guess what I'm saying is, would you like the job? I responded with a big smile saying, yes, sir. My second memory was after Mr. Garcia retired, how we all as staff members were happy and excited about Miss Stephanie Michelle becoming our next principal because she loved the students and have always put 100% of her heart into them. Thirdly, I remember receiving my first key award and starting the very first African American club, beginning with 80 club members and becoming their first sponsor, scholarship, and event coordinator for Cultural Day in honor of Black History Month. I'm so thankful that my administrators gave me the opportunity to support and cultivate each student's gift because it was my desire to pour and invest in them the best gift that God has invested in me, to set them up for amazing success.